What's up guys? Welcome to my new uh, tip tutorial type video. Um, in this video I'm going to be showing you a few interesting things you can do within gross beat to make beats or basses sound a little bit cooler um, and give it a little bit more spice every now and then within your song. Um, so yeah, uh, I had uh, quite a bit of positive feedback on the tape stop pitch drop type video using gross beat and someone did want to see this video, what I what I can do, what you can do with gross beat, other things. So I decided to make this video. So I'm going to start off with a basic re-space, and I'll just play that right now so you can hear it. And we'll see what, what we can do within growth speed. So I already have it loaded up here. Um, and we're going to be using this top section. Um, this section down here is more of a gate. You can use these as gates. Uh, they have all these gates right here. They have trans gates, saw gates. Um, they have a side chain thing. But anyway, we're not going to worry with, about that right now anyway. We're going to just keep it on empty and we're going to make it our own. So, I guess I'm going to start it off. I'm going to start off by clicking here in the middle, right right click there in the middle, and then right click that dot that you create again and click double curve. Now drag this down about right there. It might be too much. We'll just we'll experiment and then right click again and drag just like right there. Okay, so now that we have a double curve right here, we're going to click this middle circle right here that's empty. We're going to click and drag up and it creates this nice little double curve right here and we're gonna we're gonna experiment with this right now to see what it sounds like this will give it a nice like twist type I don't know how else to explain it besides saying twist that's just what it sounds like to me a twist so yeah let's listen to it okay let me drag that up a little bit more since the sound is a little bit different hold on I think there's probably a better sound I can use for this. Let me try and see if I can find something a little better. Uh, what about Weird Reese? And as you can hear, it gives it more movement. And um, I, I used this a lot in my earlier songs. I actually haven't used it in a while because I've found other ways to um, get good modulation within there but I mean this is another decent way and you can al always automate the volume on this and only turn it on sometimes um, and then there's also obviously single curve which I showed you in the last tutorial but we'll show you what that sounds like with this which turns an ordinary bass um, turns an ordinary <laughs> sorry I thought that was gonna um, Turn this down. Okay, it didn't even do it, but anyway, I, I know what will. This will. <laughs> okay, maybe it won't. Okay, I guess that's just for that. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. I'm I'm stupid right now. That this stuff is just for the gate. Anyway, um it turns an ordinary bass into a not ordinary bass. So as you can see, gross beat is extremely powerful um when it comes to uh giving a sort of modulated type noise even though it's not really uh, it's not being modulated at all it's it's just it just gives it more movement within it um, and there's there's tons of other things uh, you, as you see there's alt single curve which alt double curve Oh yeah, well, and obviously smooth as stairs will give it another twisty type sound. But anyway, as you, I, I experimented with a few of them so you could see. I'm going to make a beat quickly um, and show you what I, what you can do with a beat. I'm just going to use the stock FL stuff because it's already here. <laughs> so do not, do not make fun of me for that, please. Um, but I'll just do a simple little beat. Okay, so right now it's using this, and we're not going to use this. We're, I'm going to go ahead and just, basically I'm going to play through the beat, and I'm just going to click on these presets here so you can hear what it's doing. It makes a really nice, glitchy type beat. And, and what you can do is you can e just make a simple beat like this. 
load up, mm, I don't know, two or three, uh, maybe even four different gross beats, and you can automate them on and off um, at different parts of the song so it sounds gl- like it doesn't sound like it's just a loop. You know what I'm saying? It can be the same simple beat using these presets and, and different ones, and it, it, it'll make it sound. I mean, just listen for yourself. I'm going to play the beat, and I'm going to click on these, and you can check it out. That's enough of the basic ones. I'm going to go ahead and get over to the complex ones now. As you can see, <laughs> it gives it some interesting effects. What I like to do sometimes, if I'm going to use those more complicated beats, I will, I'd like to put a, a small distortion on it or something. Uh, let's put a fast distortion. I'm going to go ahead and turn mix down a bit and post also down a tad. But um, And I'm also going to go ahead and cut some of the lows up because they're a little harsh. Tad bit. Let's, let's just listen to it. Anyway, it's decent for um, a lot of times you'll hear, I know this is an EDM, but this is what I hear this in a lot. Um, I hear it within sort of the synth core type metal-ish music that they'll go into a soft synth part or something and you'll hear a beat in the background. It's obviously not a real drum kit and it's this synthetic type stuff and it sounds really glitchy like this and uh, I've ac- <laughs> I'm actually guilty of using it in a song that was a metal song a long time ago with a buddy of mine. We made a little song and we used gross beat to make the beat and that's pretty much how I did it. And it was super simple and it's I mean if you don't have you don't have to like go through and make each little edit and glitch yourself. I mean it's it's all right there for you. And then I mean you can experiment and drag things around and like I said you can have you could you could link this you can get all your effects you want in here that isn't gross beat. You can link it to another channel like click clicking like that and then click off the master and then have this one just with eight different gross beats right there and you could even link that to another channel with other gross beats and just keep automating each one turn them all off and only have the one on that you want on and automate them on and off with these knobs right here but yeah guys um, I hope this video helped you out with the, um, the getting some awesome movement sounds within your basses um, and also getting some cool glitchy noises for your drums. Um, and I hope that helps a bit. So yeah, guys, um, if you're new here, subscribe. You knew I was going to say that. <laughs> and if you're not new here, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Give the video a like. And uh, that helps me out a lot, guys. Thanks. Um, leave any suggestions you have um, for another tutorial in the comments below. And I'll see if I can get to, get to them. And guys, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to uh, message me here on Facebook. Just uh, go to my profile or go to the my page and then click on the about tab and then click send message. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm here to open, I mean, I'm, I'm here to answer questions and possibly you could even give me a video idea if you want. I don't know. But yeah, um, I've talked a lot. So thank you guys. Bye.